killing gators in the swamps are dangerous business. My brother and I have been doing this since we were 14 years old, right alongside my dad and uncle. So when my dad passed away in 2013 it was up to my brother and me to keep the family business alive. Now, so you understand you can get anywhere from $13 to $35 per gator depending on the size and length. It doesn't sound like much but during the gator hunting season, those are the prices. Now my brother and I we don't really play by the rules too well so dot 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 what most people don't know is that when it's not gator season, and you know how to process gators yourself you can mail dollar $25.150 for the right size gators, meat, skin, heads, teeth we use it all. This morning my brother William and I were out in the swamps, we had set a few bait lines way off in some of the more secluded areas. So we are out checking the lines for gators. We get to the first one and nothing had even touched it. We moved to the second line about 450 feet away, it was hanging from a tree, and as we are pulling up we can see the gator's tail. It looks like its body is upon the land in this thick brush, but its tail is down towards the waters. As we pull up on the gator I grab the bait line hanging from the tree and my brother positions himself at the front of the boat ready to shoot it in the head as soon as I pull the line. Now for you to understand what happened next I need you to see what I saw. Picture this at the front of the boat is thick brush, very thick, a wall of weeds and the only openings were the spots where the gators would slide down into the water. I'm pulling the bait line my brother is standing at the front of the boat. I yank the line hard, think that his will cause the gator to spin around and come out of the bushes, right? But instead, we hear this growl, like nothing I ever heard before. Deep long, kinda like a gator but mixed with a bear. It was so loud my brother jumped backward damn near falling out of the boat. Then this ten foot gator comes flying through the air back flipping towards the boat. I tell you no lie. Its neck had been twisted around and broken, the hook still in its mouth. Belly ripped to shreds. That is what I saw, and that is all I saw. But my brother, my poor brother. Let me put it to you like this. My brother was so scared that he stopped talking for two days. When he finally told me what he saw, I could only stand there in disbelief, but it made perfect sense. He told me that when I pulled down on that line he was ready to shoot. But then this giant dog head popped out of the bushes, my brother is 6 feet 7 inches tall, and a big man. He told me that the head on this thing was as wide as his chest. And the teeth bigger than anything he has ever seen. He said that growl, combined with the teeth was what made him jump backwards, but when he saw the dead gator flying through the air blood spewing all over the place he just could believe it. A 10 feet gator tossed like a toy doll. He said he just closed his eyes and curled up into the fetal position because he knew the thing was about to kill us. Now I can't vouch for what my brother saw, I want to. God knows I want to, after all, he is my brother. But I did see a damn alligator come flying through the air like you would ball up a piece of paper and throw it. I also did hear the growl, but I was not looking at the brush, I had yanked as hard as I could on that line. We still go hunting gators and make a good living at it, but we keep two AK-47s in the boat with us at all times.